Hey guys, Shalana here. Welcome to the Bin Zone. On today's video, we're going to be looking at the Netflix original series Messiah. Looking at season one because this show was super controversial before it came out, just from the trailers, because you have essentially a Muslim dude playing Jesus. So let's dive into it because we know Netflix has this knack of throwing out these controversial shows. 13 Reasons Why, the sketch comedy show The Gay Jesus, now we have this show Messiah. So I was very interested in so I was very interested in diving into this because usually when Netflix does these little tactics of wow out there shows, they're really good. So I went to Messiah head first, wanted to find out what this show is about. And I have to say, first and foremost, the casting of El Masi or Messiah or the fake Jesus of, of this show, I don't want to say fake Jesus because we're left guessing throughout the whole series, is he or is he not the Messiah? But the casting of El Masi, I'm sitting here like, you know what? I'm fine with it because if Jesus was from the region that he's in, right? If Jesus comes from this region, he's supposed to look like them. So I was fine with that. But the overall show itself, it had its ups and its downs. As I watched the show, I'm sitting here like, you know what? I'm interested. It, it got me hooked because I'm always, because I love to watch, because I love to watch shows about religion and people's belief systems and how that shapes who they are, their messaging. And I like when a figure comes in and kind of shatters that and rattles that. And that's what El Masi does. Because this show, he goes around the world. Because in this show, because in this first season, he goes around the world performing miracles. And just seeing that in 2019 or 2020 and looking at all these different ways that social media interprets what he does and that significance. Because think about it. If the words of the scripture in the rapture are true, and this happens, let's say, tomorrow, right? Let's say it happens tomorrow. In the social media age, it will be all over Twitter, all over IG, and it's going to be a whole debacle. So I enjoyed that. But at the same time, there's a lot of vested powers who are against him. But at the same time, there are a lot of vested powers who are against what he's doing because it looks like it's stirring geo. But then again, in this show, there's a lot of powers who are vested in making sure he doesn't succeed or capturing him because it's messing up geopolitical relations. For example, the CIA, Michelle Monaghan's character, wants to stop him because they can't quite understand. Like, every t everywhere he shows up, an outbreak happens because, you know, when people get religious fever or religious zealotcy, they kind of overreact. So he's causing disturbances everywhere he goes. But at the same time, established religions and established hierarchies of religion are also, was that a religion? No, I want to say church. Established hierarchies of church, like for example, the bureaucracy of churches, because we know when it comes to religion and church and God, like all that gets muddled when humanity and humans come in there and put their bureaucracy, set up offices, have ranks and such like that. It's challenging the very notion of everything we've believed in and the systems we have established for thousands of years. So that was pretty interesting. The overall show itself, it kept me interested, but it wasn't invigorating. For example, when El Masi is doing his thing and they're hunting him down, that's pretty interesting. When people's fates are being challenged, that's pretty interesting. But a lot of times, there's a lot of slog and boringness to the show. Because let's start off with the character first, El Masi. For someone who's the Messiah, right? He, he does what he does, but he's so blank about it. Like, he's so matter of fact. Like, he's just blank and he just goes, performs his miracles, says his speeches, keeps it moving, right? I expected the Messiah to be a little more like swaggy, right? Like I, w I expected him to have a little more charisma because granted he doesn't need the charisma, but you know, me thinking of the all powerful, all deity guy, he'd be more charming about it instead of matter of factly, because when you're more charming, it's just more interesting as a character and you're just more interesting as a figure to follow. But when you're performing miracles, I guess you can be stiff. But the Michelle Monaghan's character has this dilemma and this cat and mouse with him. I enjoyed that cat and mouse because he's rattling her belief system as well. And she still refuses to believe it. And what I love about the show is you never believe, is he really the Messiah or is he like a scam artist? Because it leaves it vague enough to where you could be like, huh, he might be a scammy, right? Or he could be the guy if you want. So it's open to interpretation, which I like. And then we have another character Avar or Var, who is um, uh, Israeli intelligence officer, and 
His faith is shaken to the core, and this shows more about his character development as opposed to all the other characters, because Michelle Monaghan's character doesn't evolve. Elma C, like I said, is a blank slate. So his character goes through a character journey, and I enjoyed it. He was the best part of the show, because I like where he started, I like where he ended at the end, and it can show you how faith can do a lot for people. But overall, this show, as controversial as it was, if you give it a chance, you'll probably enjoy it. It's kind of boring, but that's my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this in the comment section below, guys. Let me know your thoughts about Elma C, what you thought about the whole season, and if you're interested in season two, or if you're interested in actually watching it, now that you know it's just not some propaganda bullshit to get people hyped into watching it. It's actually a pretty decent show, even though it's not great. Let me know that in the comment section below, guys. If you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. And guys, we just started our Patreon, so we'd really support you. And guys, we just started a Patreon, so if you guys want to show the binge on some support, we'd love if you joined our Patreon. Anything helps, and it will help us keep turning out great content for you guys. Anyway, guys, until next time, binge on.